Hello, this is TK Tahmina Khan. Today I have come to explain to you the concept of vectors which is taught in A level CIA. When we study any topic, we always look at all the concepts we need to revise in it. In vectors, we focus on two things lines and planes. Now, in lines, there are five, six more concepts which we will see according to the syllabus. Before I start, I would like to tell you that in this video, all the examples I have taken are from different books. I have not made any example by myself. So let's start with lines. When you're revising lines, you should know the, the following things, uh, the following concepts. Number one, how to find the vector equation of the line, which is R equals to A plus lambda B. R mean any general point on the line. A is any particular point on the line. Lambda is a perimeter. It means it helps you, this value helps you to find out the position of any point on the line. And B is the direction of the line. Second important concept, then you should be able to find out either lines are parallel, intersecting or they are askew. Then after that, if two lines are given, you should be able to find out the angle between the lines. Then point number four, the point of intersection of the two lines if it exists. There are cases when two lines are not parallel but they do not intersect. And the last case, you should be able to find distance from a point to a line. So let's start with number one, vector equation of a line. When you have to find the vector equation of the line, there are two possibilities. Number one is that you are given a direction of the line and a point which is a very straightforward question and we will see an example in a while or second condition is that two points through which line is passing should be given to you then you can find vector equation of the line so let's start with the example suppose you are given that line is parallel to this vector direction and line is passing through this point. It means you know what will be substituted in place of A. This is for any particular point. So you will write 5 minus 2, 4 in place of A. And in place of B, you will write down 2 minus 1 and 3. So this will give you vector equation of the line. Very straightforward question. Now second question. Uh, let's see the other forms of the vec uh, vector equation of the line also. Now the same line, if it is written in this form, you can see what is done, 5 plus 2 lambda, simple multiplication with the lambda, and I am writing it together like this. And R is a general point, so in place of that you can write x, y, z. So this form of writing vector equation of the line is called parametric equation of the line. And after that, if you make lambda a subject from each, then the form you will get is called a Cartesian equation of the line. So you have seen three forms of the vector equation of the line, parametric and Cartesian equation of the line. Now let's see another example, the second case in which two lines are given to you and you are asked to find the vector equation of the line. If two points are given to you, you can easily find out the direction of the line for uh, by AB. And all of you know from the previous uh, concept you have learned in the earlier classes that AB is equal to OB minus OA and this vector is giving you the direction of the line AB. So now in the vector equation of the line R equals to A plus lambda V in place of A you can use any point you like and that's why it is called that vector equation of the line is not unique though it represents the same line but at a glance it looks different. So in place of B, you will write this direction, here we have written, and in place of A, you can write any point out of these two. I have taken the first one. So this is my vector equation of the line. The same equation, now I am writing it in this form. You can write in the column vector form or in the ijk form, whatever you like it to. Now let's take two vector equation of the lines, which I have taken here. Now I will see whether these lines are parallel or not. 
to check that vector equation of the lines are parallel you only need to see the directions of the vector now this vector is a direction of the line so if you look at these two what do, what do you see if you notice here one is just a minus one multiple of the other so now whenever two directions are multiple of each other it means they are parallel now we will look at the example when lines are intersecting so here are two vector equation of the lines and we can see from the directions that they are not multiple of each other so they are not parallel lines if lines are not parallel and if we are saying that they are intersecting because every time non parallel lines are not uh, intersecting in three dimension so if lines are intersecting then r1 equals to r2 where r1 and r2 are any general points on the line so we are changing these vectors into x y z form now to find out the point of intersection or to show that it is intersecting we will pick up any two uh, coordinates suppose x with x y with y and we will equate it and solve it simultaneously and then the value of lambda and mu we will get we will substitute it back in the third equation which we are doing here now when we substitute in it if the answer comes same then it means lines are intersecting now once you have proven that lines uh, are intersecting then next question can be asked what is the point of intersection so in any point general point you have picked up you can substitute the value either the lambda or the mu i have substituted the value of lambda here and now i have gotten this point so it is a point of intersection